it's normal for you to get error messages when you code. So when you do get one, you don't have to be afraid. I get error messages all the time as I code. And when I'm having bad days, I get more error messages. The thing about error messages is that they are not something that is inherently bad. If you think about it, we are actually very lucky to have error messages showing up in front of us when we do something wrong. If you think about designers and other professions, they may be able to create something, but it's hard for them to know what is actually wrong with the design or the, the, the words that they actually write. But in our case, when we see code that doesn't work, we know it doesn't work and we know where it doesn't work. So we are incredibly lucky in a sense because our code messages are like little angels telling us gently that, hey, something is wrong on line number 12 and you can go and correct that code and your program will work fine. So let's go through an example of an error message and how you would go about debugging it and not being afraid of the entire thing, right? So if you take a look at the screen over here right now, you'll see that there's a button and there's a HTML of a button over here with the class of button, btn short form. And in the code, what we are actually trying to do is to get the button element and when you click on the button, it should turn into orange. Now let's say I save and I refresh the page and I get an error message, right? So the first thing you do when you get an error message is to breathe and relax. So there's nothing wrong with getting error message. I get error messages all the time, like I said. What you do is you read the error message. It says, uncaught at type error, cannot read property at event listener of now. That means at event listener isn't a valid property right now. The error message occurred on line number three in main.js. So with this information, you can go into main.js, look under line number three, and this is the offending line of code that is wrong. Alternatively, you can also click on this but, uh, this link over here and you'll get directed to the line of code that is wrong too. But I prefer to work with my text editor most of the time. So I generally look at the error message here and go into my text editor directly. So now let's look at add event listener, right? The error message says you cannot read property at event listener of now. That means button should be now. In that case, if you're unsure whether button is really now or not, you can console log, like in what we said in the last video. You can console log and see what button is. If you refresh the page, you see that, hey, button is actually now in line number three, right? So you know that you can't add an event listener because an event listener is a, is a method and you need to add it to an actual element. That means something went wrong with the query selector, right? And if you go back into the query selector, you will notice that, hey, we are actually trying to query the class of btn, so, but we forgot the dot. And that is the start of the error message. If you fix that, refresh, there's no more error message and you click on the button and it works. So this is like a very simple example of an error occurring and that you don't have to worry about the error breaking up your code. Most error messages are simple like this. It might be just some typo errors that you made somewhere along the code that you didn't really realize when you were furiously typing away when you first drafted out the code. When you finalize the code, you have to sort out all of these errors and then fix them all before your program gets functional. So that is what I would like to share with you today. Um, the next time you see an error message, just remember that error messages are little angels that come and tell you that, hey, something is wrong and you don't have to be afraid of them. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you like this video, consider subscribing to my channel by hitting the subscribe button down below and I'll send you a helpful tip about web development every single Friday. You may also want to consider subscribing over at my blog at zellwk.com and I'll send you one video plus one article every week to help you get better at front-end development. With that, good luck, have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video.